I've always had a pretty adventurous spirit. And I think it's, I don't know really where it came from because there's not, you know, people in my family that are like this. I don't know where it came from. I sometimes just think it's because I've endured so much trauma in my life that, um, and I'm still here, I feel invincible, like I can accomplish anything, to conquer anything, and, uh, oh, I must say, obviously I'm outside and it's a little windy today, so, uh, hopefully it's, the noise isn't too much of a distraction, but, you know, I felt it was appropriate to talk about this topic outside because many adventures involve me well, leaving my home, and isn't that what adventure is? It's about leaving the comfort zone of the box you're in, and and we're surrounded by so many boxes in our life. You know, we live in a box, and we drive in a box, and we eat out of boxes, and and you know, we're we're oh, we're boxed in in so many ways in our life, and and so when. We're going on adventures, we're breaking out of our boxes and exploring new places and new ways of thinking and new terrain and, and it's new. And, and because I've always had a pretty adventurous spirit, it means for years in my life I've had to contend with people questioning um, the quote-unquote risks that I'm taking, what they perceive as being very risky, they question about me all the time on my safety and whether it's smart and this and that. And and in some ways, I, I believe that some people are trying to help me. I think some people are projecting their fears onto me and, um, and their nervousness about taking risks onto me. But there's a, a quote I just love from Jim Rohn. Um, he's since passed away, but if you're not familiar, he's um, a well-known business philosopher. And he used to say, better to live 40 years of adventure rather than 100 years safe in the corner. And I've taken that to heart, you know, and I... I have said, even before I knew who Jim Rohn was, and before I know that, knew that quote, for, since a teenager, I've been responding to people who question me by saying, I can't wait to live my life until I have someone to live it with. You know, it, there's a lot of, I guess, um, pressure that falls on me from being a woman. And especially when I was a young, young sorry, young woman um, going on my adventures, I'd catch a lot of slack um, for that because, you know, women are perceived in many ways as being weak and as though we can't take care of ourselves. And, and what's been interesting to see is that, that most people that question the risks that I take are women actually and that's why I know a lot of it is a projection of their fears and a projection of what society has told them what women are capable of doing on their own and 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 so I'm thinking about it because recently I was at an event um, and it was um, a fundraising event and we haven't been able to have it for three years because of the pandemic and so a lot of the people I saw, um, I haven't seen, you know, in at least three years. And so when I see some of these people, they love to, a lot of people like to live vicariously through me. And so they'll ask me, you know, where are you traveling to? And, you know, what, what places have you been since I last saw you? And where are you going? And they'll say the same thing with hiking. Are you still hiking all the time? What have you been hiking? Where are you going to be hiking? Are, and then they go into, wait, are, have you been, I hope you're not doing these things by yourself. So they'll be so excited to hear about my adventures and then they'll say, but I hope you haven't been doing it by yourself. Or I'll talk about my upcoming adventures and they'll say, are you doing that by yourself? I hope that's not by yourself. You've got to be careful. And, and it's so funny because it happens every single time um, that people, um, almost every single time that a person asks me whether they know me or not about my adventures, they question, 
my safety. And so it's taken a lot of, um, I guess, determination and, um, sorry, I got an ant crawling on me, um, persistence on my part to keep proceeding toward my goals and, you know, going on my adventures around the world and climbing big mountains and being vulnerable in other ways, you know, with starting a business and writing books and all these things are risky. And, and it's, it's, it's taken a lot of grit on my part to keep going when people are questioning me um, and whether I'm going to get hurt and whether I'm going to be okay. I've had to be really strong in my convictions of why I'm doing what I'm doing because if not, I could get pulled off course every time someone questions me. And that's why I usually don't share what I'm doing or will be doing until I have convinced myself that I'm doing it no matter what. You know, and it, it's interesting because a lot of people perceive me as being impulsive for that reason because what it, it appears is though the moment I say something, I'm doing it. And so they think that I haven't thought it through. But what they don't realize is that I'm a thinker. I spend an enormous amount of time thinking. And I'm also a researcher, so I love to look things up. I am a planner. Um, I'm very detailed oriented. So before I mention a goal, adventure, whatever it may be to the world, I have already figured it all out in my head. And so I've already, the moment I speak it, it becomes real. I've decided it's time to take those steps. And because I've already done my research and planning and thought through everything, I'm able to handle the onslaught of questioning that I get when I start moving towards something new. Now, the people close to me in my life, like my family and friends, they've since learned to not question me because, you know, unless they're, they're truly concerned, but they've seen over and over again of how I accomplish lots of hard things I set my mind to. And so they know that I, I can do anything I set my mind to. But it's the people that don't know me as well and see that I'm a woman and, and see that I'm happy and that I'm friendly and more likely to be maybe taken advantage of if they start worrying about me and projecting their fears onto me. And so why I want to say all this to you is that, you know, so first, you know, I, so I'm a coach, a life coach, and so much of the work I do is about helping my clients set goals, create a plan to achieve those goals, and to tackle the obstacles along the way. But goal setting has been extremely critical in my healing journey, and that's why, you know, my my book I just published is entirely on, um, you know, the power of goal setting after trauma, and. And I talk about in there about how people are going to hold us back and the variety of reasons they're going to do that. Um, but I think it's, it's important to know that there, oh, some creature crawling inside my hair. I was like, I'm feeling something. <laughs> Sorry, and I'm, phone's bouncing all over the place. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do to prepare yourself for the, you know, the, I don't want to call it fallout, but the resistance, yes, the resistance you're going to face when you start saying to the world that you're going to pursue something new. You're going to do something that's hard. You're going to go to a place you've never been. You're going to travel by yourself. You're going to do whatever it is. And you're always going to have people giving their opinion. Always. I mean, people just love, love to give their opinions. I mean, here I am giving my opinions. Um, and so it's just it's what humans like to do. And, um, and so when you start speaking, you know, your goals and your ambitions to people, they are going to provide you with their input, whether you want it or not. And if you're not strong,
strong in your convictions of why you're doing what you're doing and you're scared of the resistance you're going to face, not even from people, but just the obstacles you're going to face, it's going to be easy for people to push you off your path and to get sidetracked. And, and you could possibly just not even make any progress. And actually a lot of people just they never get started or they do and they stop because their fears get the best of them. And so although I believe that accountability is, is really um, have an account, a way to hold yourself accountable to yourself and others, particularly if a goal that you're working toward will take a long time or to be really hard. I think it's important to have an accountability system set up, but I think it's important that you're careful of who you use for your accountability system. Um, if you are not ready to deal with the resistance you're going to face from people voicing their concerns. And so once you start, so before you start announcing to the world and people, like even asking people, will you be part of my accountability system? I think it's important for you to get your why down. Like, why are you doing this? Um, what's it, why is it truly important to you? And, and try to think of, you know, what, is, what are some of the obstacles you're going to face and how are you going to address them? And, of course, you're not going to be able to foresee every single obstacle you're going to find in your path, but to create a plan of how you're going to um, navigate obstacles you find. Now, I don't encourage you to spend a lot of time looking at obstacles, especially in the beginning, because... Sometimes the research of the obstacles will paralyze people and make them scared to even start. I'm saying you've got to have enough of an idea of where you're heading so you can create a realistic plan and be able to handle the times that people question you so that they don't pull you off course. Or, or and or, okay, in addition to that, I encourage you to have like one person that you know will support you no matter what. And you start with sharing um, your goal and what you're working toward with them. And then when you start expanding who you tell about it, hopefully that person can also serve as the person that you can go back to and say, listen, I'm struggling with taking action toward my goal. I just spoke to so-and-so and I received this kind of feedback. I'm really discouraged, I'm really worried. And to be able to have somebody you can talk through that with. Because sometimes that person will have insight um, or words of encouragement that will get you back on track or keep you moving. Or sometimes just talking about it out loud will give you insight that you may have not thought about while you were just ruminating through worries and concerns. Um, so anyways, I, I wish you well on whatever you're working toward. And I hope in your future you have some amazing adventures planned. And, and I hope that you will, little by little, um, push yourself out of these boxes. Um, you've been enclosed in for most of your life and start exploring new places and meeting new people and becoming a new version of yourself. You know, I'm always transforming myself. I feel like I've lived multiple different lives because the more I experience, the more I learn, the more I grow and the more I change. And I experience life in new and more beautiful ways every time I grow and expand. And so it's beautiful and it's exciting. And yes, we experience bumps and resistance along the way, but those are just opportunities for growth. And, and so I try to embrace them and, and I hope you do as well. So thanks for listening. Bye-bye. <laughs>